welcome back to another video so in this video i'll be uh, taking uh, the step by -step tutorial regarding microstrip antenna design using hfss software so without any uh, wasting any time let me start this uh, tutorial so first of all i will explain how what is the structure of a microstrip antenna so as you can see this is a microstrip antenna and you can see there are three layers so the yellow color which is highlighted here in the bottom that is the ground okay so ground is the lowermost layer which is highlighted in yellow color and it is having a thickness the thickness of this particular layer is uh, it's a common standard 0.035 mm that is the thickness of this uh, ground layer and it is made up of uh, copper so basically we use this material as copper okay so this is about uh, the ground layer and the on top of the ground we will place this substrate layer so you can see the substrate layer having greater thickness as compared to the ground so this is substrate and the substrate layer is of thickness uh, 1.6 mm so that is a standard value and this substrate is made up of material there are variety of material available in the library and basically uh, for uh, a normal design we choose fr4 okay so flame resistant material type 4 that is fr4 and it is your normal pcb material okay and this why we are choosing this fr4 basically uh, which have very less cost and the fabrication is also very easy so that's why we go for uh, which is very cheaply available and uh, it's a rigid material as well okay so this is why we choose fr4 as the substrate and on top of this we can see that uh, there is a topmost layer that is the patch so the patch is also made up of copper same as your ground and its thickness is also same as your ground that is 0.035 mm so this is all about uh, the basic uh, structure of this microstrip and we we can see that there is a feed which is connected here so this is a, a, a lengthy strip over here that is called a feed which will carry the signal and energize your microstrip over here so where we will giving you the uh, input the signal over here the signal will be carried out by the feed towards this microstrip patch and the microstrip will be radiated okay so this is how the microstrip will look right now we need to uh, design this antenna first of all we need to calculate what is the length and what is the width of this particular antenna okay so consider a patch and this patch is here and we need to calculate the length and the width so the width we can say it as uh, since it is patch i am taking wp and the length of the microstrip i am taking it as lp that is the length of the patch so we need to find out these two values and in if we have standard equations to find these values but uh, for now i am going to use a calculator online in order to calculate this uh, dimensions quickly so without uh, doing any equations okay you can also refer the equations so for that we need to open uh, any browsers and just get into uh, google and you need to type uh, microstrip patch antenna calculator and hit enter so you can see many these websites are available and one of them is this everything rf or em talk or uh, pastor neck all these websites are uh, having this calculator so i am opening this everything rf and you can see that it is asking you few details that is the basic parameters of the microstrip so first of all you need to provide the dielectric value since we selected the substrate as fr4 so the dielectric value is 4.3 or some library it will be around 4.4 okay so let me give 4.4 uh, 4.4 uh, in cst uh, it is 4.3 okay 
uh, and uh, the height of the substrate it is 1.6 that is the height of the substrate in terms of millimeter and the frequency of the uh, resonant frequency the application suppose you are going to design the antenna for a bluetooth application and then the frequency is 2.4 so it's 2.4 gigahertz so you need to give these uh, parameters initially and you can click on calculate so once you click on calculate you can see the width and the length of the micro strip is given here we can take a round off the value so this we can take it as 38 as width and the length as uh, around 29 point uh, it's we can take it as 30 okay so coming back to uh, uh, coming back to uh, here so we we know wp that is the width of the micro strip is around uh, around uh, 38 it's 38 mm and the length of the micro strip is around uh, 30 mm okay so now we understand what is the length and the width of that so let me take these values here for patch uh, length is equal to 30 and width is equal to 38 this is what we calculated and now we need to uh, ha actually have a substrate and that substrate should carry your patch so the substrate should be the bigger material and the patch should be the smaller material in that case you need to you know choose a bigger value for the uh, substrate material consider the substrate material with uh, consider the substrate material with this uh, its uh, WS that is the width of the substrate and the length of the substrate is uh, uh, LS that is the length of the substrate so you need to find out the values so we have basic equation that is uh, the width of the substrate ws is equal to 6h plus uh, that lp lp is the length of the patch so we can substitute the values that is 6 into h is nothing but the height of the substrate that is here which is uh, 1.6 mm so 6 into 1.6 mm and and plus its uh, LP is the length of the patch which is 30 we just calculated so while substituting these we will get the value around uh, it is around uh, this value becomes around 9 point something so that we can take a round, a round of value as 10 so 10 plus 30 which is uh, 40 mm so 40 mm will be the uh, uh, sorry it's uh, this the equation we have a correction uh, this is not lp it is uh, width of the patch wp since we are going to find out the width of the substrate so then the width of the patch is 38 so if the width of the patch is 38 okay so this is 38 then it becomes 38 plus 10 it becomes 48 okay so for a substrate we, we have the values uh, the width is equal to 48 and similar equation is used to find out the length of the substrate that is ls that is equal to 6h plus uh, the length of the patch okay so that is equal to 6 into 1.6 plus lp is equal to 30 so you will get around uh, 40 mm as the uh, length of the substrate okay so the length of the substrate is equal to 40 mm so if you check these two dimensions as you can see for patch it is 30 30 and 38 the length and width and for the substrate it is uh, 48 and 40 that means uh, here the width is 38 and for the substrate the width is 48 10 mm difference is there and if you compare the length value the substrate length is 40 and the patch length is 30 though so uh, the length and width of the substrate and the patch is around 10 mm difference okay so that's all and you will also use the same uh, length and width value for the ground also okay so this is all the values what we require to design the antenna okay and also while we are going to design uh, this micro strip antenna in hfss as you know that since it is a three-dimensional design we should have x-axis 
and we should have a y axis and also we should have an z axis okay so we will consider x axis we will consider the width of the antenna whether it is a patch or the substrate we will track x axis as the width and uh, the y axis we will consider in this direction we will consider the length of the antenna in the y axis and since we are stacking the different layers ground then substrate and then the patch so the z axis will refer uh, you know like uh, we will use the z axis as as the thickness or the height of the subs uh, each layers we can say uh, thickness or height of the layer each layer that is in the z axis okay so this is how i'm going to approach this and the center point i can take it as 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is the origin x y and z value so now we can start using uh, the design using HFSS.